What is abnormality? According to our norms, uh, we create a uh, range. It's not a normal. It's not a. It's a abnormal. But in these days, one branch in add into the psychology. It's a parapsychology, paranormal. This for only for the spiritual practitioners. So right now we are talking about the. normal range and abnormal range if in our body there is a more acidity so you can't sleep well some relaxing hormones is already not producing up to the level and when we are not controlling our thoughts so automatically either we feel anxious either we feel depressed there is a mechanism of stress there is a two wing one is a flight one is a flight what is a fight what is a flight when you are just reacting to overcome that situation you fight this situation but when the situation is not in your fully control but you are doing your action you this environment give you a anxiety there is a negative aspects of stress and when you are flight you just accept the your defeat you don't want to do anything you just make your self inactive the situation is a depression in depression you just go into the sleep you want to eat you just fulfill your every things you want be a pleasure into the form of eating into the form of a uh, sleeping later on you feel your weight is going high you are you will feel lethargic you can't enjoy your relation in your family in your work environment how can make it you have to do something and some members are very focused for their ambitions they are doing very fast they just very keen to work and some extent that they use some uh matlab intake like a caffeine is not very good for every time to more work but you are not providing the time to manage your body in a proper way both are abnormalities if you are going the anxious situation more than the 6 month it's called a disorder same one day you are feel lazy it's a mechanism of you are uh, just recovering yourself but it's a part of your nature it's called depression in two mechanism we are going into the abnormalities either into the hyper side either into the negative side so here pranayam make you a very good platform to first mobilize you and control on your breathing so you can control your emotions which how much energy you need pranayam give you the platform when your the capacity of lungs is going high you don't feel there is a energy drainage when you are into the depression it's mean your right nostril is little going uh, blowing in a less quantity we are just activate our left nostril right nostril so we just enhance our energy after the basic this kinds of uh, imbalance into this 
we are feeling uh, after one year, two years, the big, big uh, abnormal problems into the psychiatry, into the psychology. What is a fear? Actually, fear is nothing. It's just a mental contents. In Indian philosophy, there is example. If someone assume rope is a snake, he has a fear like a snake. But when you aware, it's not a snake. It's just a rope. There was a no fear. Actually, in abnormal psychology, sometime the content was not there, but you can't control your mind. So pranayama is the only tool you can control your mind, you control your thoughts, you can reduce your thoughts. If you can reduce your thought, definitely you go into the balance. But note it's a single pill, like a medicine you just take a pill, you feel sedate. No, it's on the root cause, it's on the ground. If you are practicing pranayama, your mind should be clear and you just find a root cause, find the fundamental uh, thoughts you make me abnormal. I am doing my practice since last 15 years. If you don't believe, I never take a single pill of medicine. If I get fever, it's a time to relax. Automatically, body can heal me. Sometime, if I get a loose motion, it's an opportunity. Body give me the chance of detoxification. I stay at my home. I take more drink. Automatically, within a couple of hours, my whole toxics come out and my body will be relaxed and loose motion will be stopped. But, if someone is very good into the job, education, business and all, they don't accept the things. They call, They get cold, they get loose motion, they just, how can it manage? They just take the pill to stop that. You not stop that, the motion and the cold. You stop the natural process of your detoxification. So I have experience, if you are practicing yoga and spiritual practices, so you consume less. A part of pranayama, the other step is pratyahara. I just a little bit discussion because it's a relation. No, it's relation with the pranayama. The pratyahara is a mechanism to withdraw your senses from outer world to the internal world. And breathing is taking the air from outside into the inner side. When our senses connecting to the worlds, our mind is always fluctuating. When we are just control our senses and go inside, there is a whole mechanism of the universe inside. When we go inside, we have less demand. Because we less demands, we have no worry. Our confidence go high. When we our health is go high, demand is less, automatically we consume very less. It's a wonderful mechanism for the universe to make equanimity and the balance. Right now, I just jumping into the global warming. Science has proven, every country has accepted, but because of the market and the competition, after the promising, they don't want to uh, control the carbon production and the heat. But a yogi, go into the inner world. They can sustain without the food, without the sleep so long. I give you the mechanism of hibernation. You understand hibernation? So many animals like a snake in a winter season, they just go into the deep of the earth and stayed there more than six months without eating, drinking, even in the sleeping. It's called a hibernative state. When we have a less demands, control on our emotions, our physical body is so strong, we disconnect from the outer world and go into the inner world. So we can maintain this hibernative state since so long. 
in our India, uh, we represent the Samadhi of Shiva. He just maintained the Samadhi years of years. What that state? The hibernation. And the Yogindra of Vishnu. What is the state? Disconnect. It's a mythology, but it's a giving a wonderful thoughts. If we have a craving, find something outside. Definitely, you get something. But bad things can't make you a blissful soul. They give you the assets. If you have a assets, you want to enjoy that assets. This was the pleasure, the happiness in a very shorter way. And the way of bliss is the ultimate. So pranayam is a link between your applied life into the world and the higher life into the spirituality. We are starting with the very basic breathing exercise which are just opening our nose, enhance our lung capacity when we are holding our breath, some stretching on the back. For example, we are sitting very cozy. My back is, I am doing abdominal breathing. It's no use because the retention of oxygen is in our lungs. When our lungs is strong, our stamina is so high, our stamina is so high, so we can't lose our temper very easily. So I am accepting the basic starting of the breathing exercise with a uh, meditative posture. If you are doing a pranayama into lying down situation, not good. You are trying to standing, not. Very specific, you have to sit erect on the floor, hard surface, not on the fluffy like a bed and uh, you just go a little bit higher, hold your breath, come. There are so many breathing exercises for their own purpose. Some practice for channelizing both the nostrils, some is just uh, cleaning up our nasal package to the, our lungs, some abdomen breathing to make the strength to our core muscles, some breathings are uh, holding to uh, make the strength to our spine. Before this, you just assume in a air cargo, how much weight of air cargo? Thousand of tons. That weight is, is staying on the air tires, helium and the, this. So you can the strength of the air, air can sustain tons of tons of weight. This is a science we are using so many places the trucks, industries and the, uh, in the transportations, why we are not using in our normal life. If we control our breath, we can make our physical health healthy. Breathing is not only for the mental. Physical is first giving the our strength to the physical level also. I have to do some physical exercise in the form of yoga, in the form of gym, in the form of cycling, in the form of running. We have to mobilize ourselves. We have to activate our blood circulation. If we don't keep it this, always staying into the artificial environment. Right now we have a electricity, we have a, our uh, so many equipment at our home, appliances at our homes, we use the fans, heaters and gastric. I am not giving the advice to challenge the environment, but at least if you are staying into the air conditioned situation, 48 minutes you go into the nature. Automatically nature can rejuvenate you in their own way. If you disconnect completely, it's not good. Is it 48 minutes? At least 48 minutes. Actually, 48 minutes a ghati in Indian standard time. Uh -huh. I am not following the international the one hour. Okay. One ghati oh, is 48 okay. minutes. So I use a according to traditions, the 48 minutes is called one ghati. So one ghati, at least you do any physical exercise for this.
you can go for sports you can go for any activities this is almost same but when any activities you synchronize with breathing and you are aware with breathing automatically every activity is under the yoga right. but it is a small difference if you are doing exercise without the awareness of breathing exercise it's not called yoga it's just exercise if you are just aware with your breathing your breathing awareness is keep yourself into the present if you are doing any sport you are main target to win only you are not enjoying in between okay yeah, yeah. you are sweating you are these things but in yoga there is a no ultimate goal of the winning we keep our mind we have given a single object breathing so it's a little difference of other exercise and yoga, and yoga. third is a relationship relationship is depend on expectations if our expectations is clear from myself and i explain to my partners and my friends so there will be no confusions the problem is this my expectation is different but i am explaining different i am not truthful to explain my expectations to other make a confusion hazels in between to pass our emotions again i correlate with the spirituality if you are a good human being you your expectation is less and your clarity is high always you enjoy the relationship the relationship is complicated because we are not clear so first try to make yourself clear or definitely humanitarian background and the spiritual backgrounds give you the platform you will be clear you speak less but in front of you you understand best why we are shouting to other why because i want to convince them but they are not listening when we are shouting they listen they understand no we are just represent our frustration there is a language of lovers they are sitting far away but connect with the eyes everyone in a teenagers they have experience no using a single word yeah. there is a language i explain this kind of things if our receptor and is so clear so there is no a single language of words from mouth and in the written please clear your first your consciousness and keep yourself on the receptive modes i give you two words even third word because i'm the teacher of uh, yoga one is called love one is called prem pyar prem and bhakti i use the word in indians pyar is called love love is just say selfishness we need something prem is high stage of love devotion if i am loving to my mother my mother loving to me i am loving to any of my friends i have a no expectation he or she give me something i make environments to make a situation how can he will be happy i have a special status in my conscious but the prem and the love in among us not but bhakti for the supernatural powers yes, third one third one is a bhakti the other branch is a bhakti yoga but if you extend yourself love to prem you love at that extent you need nothing to someone you respect at the same extent and the same contents automatically generate in front of you you enjoy the relation beyond this normal world you enjoy the your completeness there is nothing to do anywhere at the time of struggling but you enjoying a lot is a faith we can pass this we have this we is our the problem is i and your try to become a we it's a matter of love 
विच काइंड ऑफ लव तो रिलेशनशिप डिपेंड्स ऑन एक्सपेक्टेशन अगेन इफ यू डिमांड लेस योर एक्सपेक्टेशन इज लेस डेफिनेटली यू विल बी ए मैग्नेटिक पर्सनैलिटी इफ यू नीड अटेंशन बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल्स दे डोंट गिव दस अटेंशन यू फील मोर क्रेविंग try to be go inside self satisfied automatically you uh, emit the vibes everyone give you the attention when you demands nobody give you the attention but when you keep yourself calm everyone give you the attention so these kinds of mechanisms come from the spirituality that's why yoga has a hand to hand relation with the spirituality you talking about the sleep what is a sleep actually it's a natural mechanism given by the nature to keep ourselves at pose whole day we are doing so many activities body also want a pose and when we are just use our senses our mind going around the world we disconnect the world we need a pose in sleep Uh, if we have a so many worry so we have a negative dreams but if our life is going uh, with the confidence with the healthy we have a very good sleep so sleep is so important in a normal uh, life like a food and sleep is a mechanism to channelize your energy for example you eat how can we digest how quantity we have to absorb we have to excrete how many uh, quantities in the form of our stool and urine this mechanism balance into the sleep but after uh, discovery of the electricity we are not focusing on the sleep we are going away from the nature but i give you the yogic concept you have facility everything you away but try to respect nature because we are not a robot if we are following with the nature we keep our health healthy for forever for example swimming with the flow of river water is easy against the water is very hard on the name of facilities if you are disturb your sleep definitely you disturb your whole the mechanism of your biological system yeah, very true now the other point is food definitely uh in every activity we need energy the food is a source to store the energy in our body for uh, every kind of task when we need but the types of food is depend on the weather and the continents my applied approach for taking a food try to follow your traditional fruits which come from your forefathers don't go for the modernity actually this kinds of cultivation and keeping our animals nearby us is depend on our weather situations for example uh, we are living into the coastal side very easy is a fish and the seafood here but we are demanding a food like uphills very cold you can eat but there is no demands of such kinds of food in our body today is a raining around this time so automatically our uh, fruits and vegetation is changing if you understand in a summer times most of the fruits and vegetable is very rich into the watery and if you are going into the winter season on the hills 
द फूड्स आर लाइक ए एप्पल वेरी टाइट तो ट्राई टू गो विद योअर जियोग्राफिकल सिचुएशन योर वेदिकल सिचुएशन डोंट डिमांड द एक्जोटिक फूड देर इज ए कंपनीज दे सिटिंग अराउंड द ग्लोब इन वन पॉइंट बट द सेल द सेम प्रोडक्ट ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड बट अकॉर्डिंग टू योगा कंसेप्ट इट्स नॉट ऑथेंटिक नॉट जेनुअन प्लीज गो फॉर लोकल्स नियर योअर किचन गार्डन्स अराउंड योअर नियर इन्वायरमेंट विच कंटेंट्स बॉडी नीड मोर totally they provide i give you another example in another way the calcium level of body is different into the pole side like a european situation and on the equators they have a very thin skin because sun is not hold the years when just sun enter into the north pole they need more uh sun exposure and the sun rays go into the inside to store but on that times when the sun is not on that area the store calcium is working but when we are on the equator there is no store of calcium on that extent the standard of calcium is 40 into the uk not apply on the equators the whole the years we no yeah. need so i give you one example on the calcium level the so same with the food you have to understand your food system and the your geographical situations now i am using the word spiritual it says very specific content in yoga at especially in indian tradition spiritual is beyond the our society actually first we become a humanitarian humanitarian is our society we just kind to others love to others truthful all the values on the humanity backgrounds but science is exist here but what happened we are thinking holistic view hold the cosmological things with the faith it's called spirituality and in india we have a very good words tata brahmande tatpinde which are available into the universe these all things are available in our body all the elements gold silver how is mg in our body but everything in a universe we can find in our body so spirituality is a bigger goal if you have a complete trust you faith automatically you just following you follow your discipline in your daily life if you are a target just say lose your weight when you get a result you lose the practice spirituality is to make yourself a super sound and you work for the on the name of god the super power the bhagwan so automatically you can't inactive and when the spirituality in your life there are so many uh the triggering points in society don't bother you spirituality in itself is a practice beyond our social norm sometimes uh, in our society if this kind of practice are doing this practice keep away from the family our parents uh, our family is have a fear but in starting phase spirituality demands a isolation because of we need more concentration we have no experience we are struggling ourselves but when we get the experience this spiritual uh, experience the we get the institution uh, intuition we have to do this experience sharing to the society again yoga has a 
मेजर फोर ब्रांचेस हता योगा कर्म योगा भक्ति योगा एंड ज्ञान योगा द नेम इज डिफरेंट द पाथ इन स्टार्टिंग इज डिफरेंट बट द अल्टीमेट गोल इज द सेम द सेम गोल इज फर्स्ट सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइजेशन इफ यू टारगेट इज अल्टीमेट गोल तो यू फाइंड दैट इन लाइफ ऑल्सो यू सीड टारगेट ए अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ यूर लाइफ एंड फुल्ली अवेयर हाउ मच यू आर प्रोग्रेसिव टू आर्स द गोल इफ यू हैव ए गोल तो यू हैव ए डायरेक्शन डेफिनेटली यू आर ऑन द योगिक पाथ यू इंजॉय द पाथ यू इंजॉय द कंपनी यू इंजॉय एवरीवेयर हाउ मच टाइम यू टेक इज डिपेंड ऑन योर साधना I just, I wish everyone should be in a, this spiritual path, and yoga may be a platform to give our uh, community in a very harmonious way. And uh, again, we establish the nature like previous. Thank you all. Thank you.